Hi there, today we're going to learn how to use the rich text effect resource to add lovely text effects like these. We have five default effects out of the box, so I thought we'd take a look at them. This feature was added in the newly released Godot 3.2 update. Wonderful stuff. If you'd like to read up on it, the official rich text label tutorial is in the description below. If you're still with us, let's get going. Now with our shiny new Godot 3.2 project, we're going to go up here to the top and click 2D, as that's where we're working at the minute. We're going to click user interface for this scene. And as a child, we're going to add a rich text label. To do that, we're going to go up to the plus button to the left. And I'm going to search rich text label and click create. Now, in order for the magic to happen, we need to enable BB code and use that. So I'm going to go to the right here and click BB code and enable. I'm just going to write some text here. Uh, this is an effect because I lack any sort of imagination. And then I'm going to go over here and expand this by clicking and dragging so we can see what's going on. Now let's add our first effect. So we are going to go over here to our BB code text editor. Now say I wanted to add a wave effect to the word effect. And I realize now that using the word effect is a bit of a mistake. So I'm going to change this to this is a cool thing. <laughs> Um, so to do that, we're going to use square brackets. And in these square brackets, we're going to write wave. Now anything, I'm just going to move this down a bit. Anything after these square brackets with wave in them is going to be waving. If I just wanted to use the word cool as our example, I would use square brackets again just after it and use forward slash wave. Now only this word cool is waving. Now you'll notice it's clipping a bit at the top. So to stop that, we're going to go down to rect and we're going to go down and unclick clip content. So it's free, it's wild, and it can go out of bounds. Now the wave rich text effect has a few parameters that we can play with. So let's go up here to our BB code text and edit them. The first one we're going to change is amp or the amplitude of the wave. So in our square brackets with wave, I'm going to write amp equals 100. And you can see the amplitude is increased. The other one we can use with wave is frequency or freq. So after amp, we are going to write freq equals 50. Why not? Let's go crazy. It's gone a bit wild there. <laughs> so let's go a bit lower, say 10. There we go. So frequency is almost how fast the wave moves. The next effect we're going to look at is the tornado effect. So let's go over here and duplicate this rich text label by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to go over here to the viewport and press W and click and drag while holding Ctrl. And I'm just going to, just so it's lined up and move it down. So with this selected, we're going to go to our BB code and we're going to alter this again. Instead of wave, we're going to say, well, let's get rid of all of this and make it tornado. Ooh, that's crazy looking. Let's just make sure that we close this out. So you can see we've got an interesting effect there, very much like a tornado. Now again, we've got a few parameters that we can change here. The first one is the radius. So again, in our square brackets with tornado, I'm going to write radius equals, I don't know, 40. Why not? The radius is pretty self-evident. It's just how far outside of its origin it goes. Uh, let's just rein that in a little bit, okay, to 15. The next one is the frequency again. So FREQ equals 20. That's how fast it goes. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the shake effect. Again, we're going to go over here, we're going to duplicate, and we're going to move this down just so we can see what's going on to BB code. And we're going to change this to shake. Ooh, that is very shaky. Again, we're going to close it out with our forward slash shake. Let's play with some parameters. So again, in our square brackets, the first one is rate. Rate equals, well, how fast the thing shakes. So we're going to put it as 10. Pretty shaky, pretty shaky. 100, even more so. The second parameter is level. Level equals 50. And that's how far apart the letters actually shake. It's a little bit wild, I can't actually read that word. So we can just put this at 15 or something. Now let's take a look at the fade effect. We'll go over here, we'll duplicate. I'm actually gonna move it up here just for a change. Look at that. Cool, so in our BB code, again, we're gonna take away all of this 
and put fade. Ooh. Now, just on the word cool, you can't really see much going on. You can see a bit of fading here. So let's alter some of these parameters. The first one is start. Now, this is where the fade starts, OK? So if we put this equal to well, 0, it starts at the 0 letter of this word. If we put it to 2, it starts at the second, or even third, sorry, and so on. So we're just going to keep it as 0 because we want the call to start fading very quickly. The next one is length. And this controls over how many letters the fade takes place. So for example, if with our word cool, we've got four letters. If you want to make it so it fades all the way across the word, we'll put four. If we want to do it so it's only two, then we put two. Uh, for our purposes, we'll just do four, as it's a four letter word. The final effect we're going to look at is the rainbow effect. This is the last default one that we're going to look at. And it is probably one of my favorites as you might be able to imagine. So we're going to go to BB code. And again, we're going to change everything here into rainbow. Look at that beautiful thing. And we're going to close it off there. The first parameter we're going to add is again frequency. And this is the number of rainbow cycles per second. So let's have a little play around with this. Let's do four. So very flashy. 10. Yep, yep, we can see that's true. We'll just do one for now. The next parameter is saturation or sat. So sat equals zero if you want to make the rainbow look really sad and dull. Uh, all the way up to one, I believe. So full saturation, super bright. I'm going to put this at 0.5 to get a pastely sort of look. Now the final parameter is value or val. Now this is an interesting one. If we set it to zero, it's black. If we set it to one, then it's our regular color. You can think of this as like a coefficient to each of the color values. So if we have zero, it's going to times everything by zero. And zero, 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 one is the color for black. Now that's all for the default effects, but we've already got quite a good base to work on. And we can actually combine these effects together. So let's take our rainbow and let's combine some of these effects with it. So BB code, let's add a wave effect. So to do that, I'm just going to add it to the whole thing. And we're going to put a wave at the beginning. And our rainbow is also wavy as well. Um, I'm going to add a tornado effect to the word cool. So I'm going to get my square brackets and write tornado. And then after the word cool, I'm going to close it off with a slash tornado. Fantastic. So we've got a few effects going on here. We've got a wave effect all throughout. We've got our rainbow effect on cool. And we've got a tornado effect on cool on top of that. In the next video, we're going to work on our custom effect because it's really easy to add our own logic behind what we want to do. Thanks for watching. A big thanks to my patrons, Brad S and SP Kinger. If you like the video, feel free to like it. If not, give it a dislike. It's all good. Uh, if you've got any comments, please put them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers.